My name is Julien Tornard. I was born in Geneva. I'm a Swiss citizen, but I lived many, many years abroad. I lived in New York, I lived in Hong Kong, and I always travel a lot around the world. And I took over the Zenith brand as a CEO, starting last year, a year and a half, I would say. And it's been a fantastic adventure. The brand had been very traditional, but if you are too traditional, sometimes you become a little bit dusty, a little bit sleepy, a little bit old fashioned. And what the project with Zenit, what we really wanted to do is to say, okay, we are proud and very happy about the long heritage, but we should not only sleep into the heritage. We should create, create things for the future. So I believe this is really where Zenit is going. And I mean, the DeFi is probably the best example of that. DeFi, the name is from the 60s. The shape is from 1970. We have the very similar design in 1970. We used to have the El Primero measuring the one tenth of a second. We said, okay, now we need to do better to push the limits and to measure the one hundredth of a second. So we came with this DeFi 21, which is a perfect illustration of what I said. You start from your history, you stay in your DNA, but you express it in a modern contemporary way because we are selling that to 21st century people. We had a fantastic year thanks to uh, the DeFi. And so far we have the DeFi chronograph like that, DeFi 21. We have the DeFi classic, which is in-house movement. And we have the, uh, as well, and we have the high complication starting. And today for the CR, we're happy to have uh, our uh, zero gravity uh, high complication, which has been adapted in a series of nine unique pieces on uh, special uh, Mexican themes uh, that are made specially for the CR. And why we do it? Because the CR is a very important show. It's probably the only show outside of Switzerland, after Basel World and Geneva uh, SIHH. You have this fantastic show here, where even better, we put the client in the center. We receive end clients. We show our creations to end clients. So I think the minimum we should do for the Mexican market is to work on a special edition. We come with a very high-end piece, everything in-house, that's also important. You know, Zenit is very authentic. Mexican people, they like to understand what they buy and they want to buy authenticity. Zenit, every single watch has a Zenit movement. So we, we give something from our tradition, but we talk and we communicate to the Mexican people with these, uh, these uh, things. Yeah. I have a few sources of inspiration. I would say one of them is definitely uh, coming from my boss, Mr. Biver. I'm lucky to work with uh, one of the greatest men of the industry and uh, I'm, I'm talking to him very often. We exchange a lot. It's not only one way, he's not telling me what to do. We are talking a lot and that's great because that's how you get the inspiration. If someone is telling you how to do, you don't get inspiration. You just give, you just get orders. But if you exchange, you get inspiration. You bring the ID to the next level. That's the first one. The second one is the travel. I'm spending a lot of time on the market. I'm meeting collectors, I'm meeting retailers, I'm meeting the press. And that's how you get also ideas and inspiration. You cannot develop a brand if you stay in your office uh, and if you only do uh, reports and uh, meetings. You have to come to the field and meet the people. That's for sure. DeFi 21, when I came in the company my first day, I, had, um, I was given a very classic watch to take the first pictures and everything. And Mr. Biver came and he said, why are you wearing this? I mean, you represent the future, you represent innovation, creativity, you have to wear my watch. And he gave me the watch. And I was very embarrassed. I said, no, Mr. Biver, I cannot take your watch. Come on, you are Mr. Biver, you need to keep your watch. He said, no, 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 now you are the man, you have to wear that watch. And since that day, I keep this watch on my wrist. Okay. And, uh, and I've been traveling around the world, showing it to many people. And I have to say, um, yeah, it became something um, uh, like a lucky watch for me. Hi to everyone and especially to our Mexican friends because I'm here in Mexico uh, to show our novelties in this uh, salon, in the CR salon. I'm very happy to be here. So what I would like to tell you is to come and discover Zenit if you don't know Zenit. Because Zenit is a fantastic brand with a beautiful history. But it's not a brand 
that's only staying in its history. It's a brand that's crafting the future, crafting tomorrow. And we all have projects in our life. We all want to build tomorrow. We all want to succeed, to reach some dreams, some achievements during our life. And I think this is the mission of Zenit, as it has been the mission of many leaders at Zenit in the past, including the founder, to have a vision and to go for it. And Zenit is really embracing this philosophy of life. And I would like you to see that. I would like you to come inside the brand and see this mission of Zenit, but also see the authenticity. I like to say that, but Zenit is one of the rare manufacturers to produce every movement. Every single Zenit watch that you can buy has a Zenit movement. So we want to be very authentic, respect our heritage, our history, but express it in the future, not repeat what our predecessors did. Because if you do that, you don't respect them, you don't honor them, you only repeat their job. What we need is to use what they did to create more and to build the future. And that's something which is the heart of our philosophy at Zenit. And I would love to share with you on, on that and to show you our latest creations.